Okay, Ash, so now as I've said, uh, I'll go through this relatively quickly, but if I'm going too fast, I say, hang on, I'm not doing that. So uh, this one here, um, you try and, when using bed mass, you try and start with the um, exponents first. Okay, so anything else, which is this here, just, you know, if it, imagine this is underneath, just comes straight down. Okay, so I, I just leave that, and then what I'm looking at, um, you know, imagine that doesn't even exist, and basically you're left with that. Okay, so you go ahead, uh, that's the perfect squares, isn't it? Okay, so it's square of A plus 2AB plus B squared, yeah? So if I did that quickly, I get that, yeah? All right, I continue just to bring this down until I'm ready to use it. 2 times 5 is 10x plus 25, and now I'm ready to use it. It's a matter of collecting like terms to simplify. Is that all right? Yep, okay. Um, now that'll be easy. All right. Uh, the next one that we'll look at is more challenging. All right. Again, I would uh, bring all of that down. Okay. So x plus 4, x take 4. Or alternatively, I'd say, well, that's one of our easiest difference of two squares formula, which is 5c. It's one of our more easier ones. Why don't I just go, I acknowledge that that's the square of a take the square of b. Yeah? That's all right so far. That's just 5c, isn't it? Difference of two squares. Simplify it even more, I can just say... It's the square of A take the square of B. And I've left with that. So I've done this uh, for the time being. The challenge with these ones, and this one, and this one, and this one, is, the, is this curious little thing here, the fact that there's a negative there. Okay. Uh, a very quick version to explain it is that everything in here just changes its sign. So that would be negative x take 1, all squared. All right, just changes everything in here. All right, this one would be negative x take 1. This one in here would be negative x plus 1. This one in here would be negative x plus 2. All right, I'm now going to explain why that's the case. What I've got here is negative 1 times x plus 1 all squared. Would you agree with that? I've got a negative 1 here, I've got a negative 1 here, I've got a negative 1 here. Yeah? And so, if I was to do negative 1 times x, it becomes negative x. And if I do negative 1 times 1, sorry about your hair, negative 1 times 1, then negative 1. And so that's what I had up there. So a quick thought would be to say, oh, okay, there's a negative 1 out front, that just changes all the signs in here and in here. Uh, I just tried to explain to you why that's the case then. Okay, all. Uh, shall I leave you with that to just have a go? And um, if you need further help, certainly ask for it. Um, expand and simplify. All right. Uh, we'll go with this one first off. All right. So we've got x take 1, x squared plus x plus 1. So we're multiplying the x by the x squared. It gives us what? Good girl. That's good. 
Good girl. Yes, take x squared. Good. Good girl. Okay. And then we're collecting like terms. We got any other cubes? No, we haven't. X squared, take x squared gives us nothing. Yeah. X, take x gives us nothing. Good. We're left with take one on the end. X cubed, take one. Fire on. Same deal with the next one in terms of process. so far? Yeah. Yep. And then we do the same with the So we're left with that. Yeah. Have I gone too quick? That's all right for you. Um, one, minus one times two. Minus one times. Uh, no, I didn't. To the point. Uh, that should, yeah, yep, that should be in there, shouldn't it? Yep. So then we're saying x to the power of 5, no others. That cancels out that, cancels out that, cancels out that, cancels out that. Leaves us with take 1. What are you noticing about the solution? Yeah. What do you notice? Uh, so that was x5 to the uh, x to the power of 5, take 1. This was x to the power of 3, take 1. All right. As in here. Yes. Yep. And then we're taking our take one from there, aren't we? Yep. Because they cancel each other out. Yeah. So how do you get five from this? Where do you get the five from, sorry? There's five numbers in that bracket. Well, they're not numbers, but there's five x in the numbers. One, two, three, four. Five. That's five. no x there. Oh. I'm just trying to interrogate your theory, that's all. Oh. I don't know. Yep, yeah. yeah. let's look at it a different way. Uh, I'll tell you that this one's going to be x to the power of seven take one. What do you notice about the powers? Which one, sorry? Yes. Yep. Okay. So what's happening to your power in your answer? compared to this. Yes. So, if there was x to the power of n, what would the solution look like? What did you just say before? You add 1. What do you add 1 to?
Yeah. Good yeah. Anything else? Good girl. And what you've done is you've done what we've been doing in those double lessons of algebra. You've found a pattern. You've done some basic ones, getting to more difficult, getting to very difficult. You've found a pattern and you've applied the principle of the pattern. Which you may not have found so easily if we hadn't have done those things before, maybe. Alright, I'll rub that off. Can I leave you with that? Yeah, I'd like to show my work.